Hey there YouTube, Super Brain AK here. And well, I've got my radio apart today. And I've added the remote power on output. And I've changed the linear transformer to a switch mode transformer. So, here's what it looks like inside the radio. Stick around for extra content where I talk about where I got the radio and a little bit how it works. So, my modifications are right here on the linear transformer, which was sitting in here. It's got these two wires. This goes to the main board. This goes to the uh, uh, amplifier board. And it's a pretty simple modification. First, to start off with the switch mode power supply. So it's a Best Tech 12 volt half an amp where I pulled the pins out, uh, drilled a hole, and shoved the wires through, and soldered right where the primary of this guy was. So, don't need that anymore. Then I took the barrel jack over and soldered that directly to the um, filter capacitor for the standby circuit. So I'm bypassing the little bridge rectifier there, those four orange diodes. And yeah. So, how did I add the remote power on output? Well, it's got this relay here, which switches on the main transformer. This is always on. This gets switched on with power from that. And it uses this tiny little transistor here, barely see it, to do that. Uh, so all I did was hook up three little wires. This is the base, that's the positive, and that's the negative positive and negative go straight onto the standby rail and the base goes on to I don't know this pin one no this is the other side doesn't say the pin count but that's pin one that's the last pin so that is the base connector which goes straight to the base of this transistor this transistor uh, switches on that relay so the base goes up to this circuit where I have another transistor through a 1k resistor then the um, positive goes over here through the white which goes to the center and then the negative goes over here through 100 ohms to the collector of the transistor and then on the emitter goes to the negative so that 100 ohm resistor is just for protection from shorting this out or adding multiple relays in case I want to. Um, that way it doesn't overload the transistor and blow it up. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for the modification. I've tested it and it works pretty well. So next thing is just to put it back together so that's it for that and now for the extra content thanks for watching if you don't want to stick around for it but I'm going to be talking about where I got it so this guy I've had for quite a long time I don't know 10 years maybe it's about that era <laughs> Um, I, the person that was throwing it out was throwing it out because the main input fuse was blown. How silly is that? They just cranked it up too high and pop, there it goes. All the other fuses and the um, amplifiers are just fine. So, they had also thrown out some sort of speaker cabinet. So, somebody was going to salvage that and they had sat 
on top of the radio. So that's why you can see straight through the amplifier or the tape decks because those were complete garbage and I think messing up um, the stuff. So I just I just disconnected them from the board there, those two connectors. So yeah. Here's the main board. Um, oh yeah, the subwoofer that I have is not actually from this radio originally, because I'm sure their subwoofer was working per perfectly fine. This subwoofer was actually from my mom's radio, which was being thrown out because she never used the subwoofer. What silliness is that? <laughs> um. So yeah, unfortunately the levels aren't very right from the sound processor to this um, subwoofer, so I gotta do something about that. So here's the sound processor, which just outputs to that middle um, jack there. So what I can, can do is just break that link and uh, add some sort of amplifier, or Maybe once I have my um, computer desktop set up, that 390 over there, uh, I can just use optical and then change it in the equalizer of the sound processor, the sound card in the computer. So yeah, the second option, so three options. One is to put a manual amplifier there. Second option, just uh, make the output louder from the computer digitally. Or third option, tap into, or hijack, I guess, the sound processor, the Dolby digital chip. I'll put a link in the description. And um, control it via I2C and make it louder. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's got two amps there. The dual amp over there is for the front left and right. The tri amp there is for the left, rear left and right and the center. It actually has two different bridge rectifiers there, which go on that little connector over to there, which has two more fuses in a little block, which goes to that short little cable over there. So uh, yeah, there's a big display. <laughs> As sure has a huge display. Look at all those pins. So yeah, thanks for sticking around for the extra content. Hope I inspired you to get to hacking. So uh, leave me a comment, say hello, I'd like to talk with you. So thanks for watching. Take care.